Hey guys, what's up? Brian Tommy here. Welcome to the channel. Behind us, we got this brand new 2021 Peterbilt 389. I'm gonna walk around, show you guys what the what this truck's all about. Then we're gonna start kind of washing it, getting all the plastic and all the stuff off of it, and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about what we're going to do to this thing, or maybe you're gonna tell us what we should do to it. Yeah. So there's uh, basically when it comes to the Peterbilt, it's you know. It's the most customizable truck in the industry. So there's all kinds of options. What you can see is that we ordered this truck. It has no drop visor on it right now, or has no sun visor. We plan to put a drop visor on it. Uh, where we want you guys to come in is tell us, do you like stainless steel over painted? Do you like painted over stainless steel? Do you like a lot of lights? Do you want a couple of lights? Uh, what should we do to this thing? But first off, we're gonna run around this truck. We're gonna show you all the details of it and then we'll get into some more about what we're going to do to it after we clean it because she's kind of dirty from the ride from Denton. Oh yeah, she's, she's real dirty. Um, they tote these things in kind of piggyback one by one to the dealerships. Um, so yeah, more or less, it's still all wrapped up. We're gonna get all the protective films and everything off of it and then uh, kind of give you guys a full picture of the canvas that we're working with. <laughs> There it is, 2021 389, 295 inches long. I don't remember what the color is on that frame. I'll have to pull the spec sheet and figure out what it is we picked. But it looks bad. I really like it. I think the two colors, once you add some, some paint on the bottom side, we paint the tank. We're gonna get a, a Def Tank Covers uh, stainless from Roadworks, and we'll paint that and make it match. Um, it's got four airbags in the front end. Um, we'll actually pump a switch inside the dash. And what that'll do is allow the driver to dump the front air and the rear air on the truck, put it straight down on the ground. It looks all mean. And uh, I mean, that's what it's about, looking cool. So what I'm gonna do right here, just to kind of show you guys what the ride height looks like when it's dumped. This whole thing is on a system connected together. So all I'm gonna do is a little push connect. I'm just gonna unplug this dude, let all the air run out of it and uh, We'll close the hood back and show you guys how low this thing gets. And that kind of simulates the dump valve that we're going to put on this thing. <laughs> What's really neat is uh, currently what this thing has on it is an 18-inch Texas Square bumper. We're gonna end up with a 22 inch bumper on this thing. I unplugged the wrong one. <laughs> I 
was going like, man, there's a lot of air coming out of this thing. I was thinking it was taking it a minute to come down. Yeah, I'm fucking wrong. I'm thinking they usually go faster than that. Oh, there we go. Instant results. You can see that front end dropping down. Bumpers getting a little closer to the ground. Again, what's really cool, uh, currently is an 18 inch Texas square bumper on this thing. We are putting a 22 inch. And I don't know if you can see the clearance on this or not, but in the very near future, there's gonna be a whole lot less. You know, one thing me and Brian noticed earlier too, I don't know if any of you guys have any like insight on this, but I think this might be like a new thing with 2021s versus 2020s. Is this uh, rubber grommet around the hood? It's actually not a bad idea. I did notice driving it down the road, you don't get some of that hood shimmy like uh, you used to get with uh, the other Pete's. But um, I don't know if you guys know anything about that. If that's standard with 2021s, I'm gonna go back and look it up when I get back to the dealership. But I uh, thought that was pretty cool myself. Dude, the thing looks good. I mean, like, you may only need to do a 20 inch bumper, to be honest. I know, it's pretty close to the ground already. As I was saying 22, I was thinking, man, I don't know that there's four inches right there. There is, but I think you'll run, you'd have to be a lot care more careful, I guess, about things. Hey, once you jump in the, the once you jump in it and dump the dump rears. The we didn't take these off. So we can show you guys kind of what that slammed look looks like. Right now, you'll notice the front end is down. He's gonna dump the rear ends. All right, so there it is, all slammed out. You can see them fenders almost touching them front tires. What's gonna be really cool is once uh, once we get all the load leveling valves and the dump valves and everything put in, this truck will be able to pull up to a show and shine area and just hit one switch and just slam out. So you'll go over some of the stuff we did with this thing? Yeah. <laughs> Again, so it's 295 inches long. I do not remember what they call this color, but I will figure that out and we will put it in the description for sure, uh, all the details. A couple of things on this truck, uh, it's got disc brakes all the way around. So, all three axles, disc brakes, they actually last a lot longer than you would get out of your typical drum brakes. And it's a disc brake, it just, it works better. Um, and it's yeah. an analog brake system in it, so. I know what some of you guys out there in uh, the comments are going to say with, well, with the new super wide brake drums, they also last, you know, 400,000 miles, which is not untrue, but still with the disc brakes, you get a little better stopping power, a little better stopping distance, uh, which is going to give this truck some longevity just in case an HTSA decides they want to change their braking distance rules again. <laughs> which it's convenient. Which they do. Uh, it happens. So the truck's got 605 horsepower. Cummins X15 with an 18 speed, 2050 torque. So you get the bigger drive lines, uh, beefier rear ends in it. Um, you'll notice this big goofy stick. I don't like these things. What's that um, called, Brian? It's called a pogo stick. We should, I don't think you can jump them down. I don't think it's gonna work the same. No, no, it doesn't It doesn't work quite the same as what you would think on a pogo stick, but this thing is. Uh... I mean, it moves, but anyway, this all this comes off. We'll end up putting a, a, a deck plate on this dude. Uh, painting it to match and it'll have a recessed airline box in here and make this all look real nice and clean We'll actually end up painting the, the frame from just a little bit under the sleeper here all the way back uh, The exact same color just with a different paint uh, That's gonna have a clear on it and it makes it night look nice and like the paint's wet um, While this is pretty cool Peterbilt's not known for having the world's best paint with the custom side of it like lasting forever and being easy to clean so with the new the new setup, it's definitely going to be a lot better looking. All right, so why why would we have black quarter fenders on a truck this nice? Because we're going to throw those in the garbage, or <laughs> maybe somebody needs them. <laughs> if it snows, we could use them for uh, you put the kids on them. They can like ride down hills with them. I don't know. So uh, these are going to be on the internet, listed as new takeoffs, and uh, you know. So these mud flats. Yeah, we're gonna. Are we going full fenders on this one, or do you I think? I don't know. Uh, so here's the thing. I think all you guys should start telling us what you want us to do this truck. I have my ideas. I think Tommy's got his ideas of what we want to do with this thing. But I'd really like just to hear what everybody else has to say. Maybe we'll change it up. I'm gonna be working on some paint renderings and stuff for it. Like I said, you know, things that are 100% gonna happen. Not changing my mind on it. Paint, paint on the tanks. 
putting the Roadworks Def cover over it, stainless steel, but we'll paint it to match also. And it's getting Dynaflex exhaust 100% because it just makes it look way better. Um, and a visor. I've already got the visor on order from Roadworks also. All right, let's um, talk about Dynaflex a little bit. So they've got, they've got a couple of different options. And what's really cool is uh, exhaust side, we're definitely going 8 inch. So that's not up for debate. We're not doing 7, we're not doing 6. We're going to go 8 inch. But there are two different options here. So with Dynaflex, you can get an 8 inch Y pipe. I don't know if you can see that Y pipe way down in there. It goes, yeah, all in there. So what we're going to do is a 90 degree elbow. It's going to come down basically to the bottom of that def tank there. And it's going to be a 90 degree 8 inch pipe. But there's the option to where it can um, you know, reduce down to 5 inch there and just go into your standard uh, 5 inch Y pipe that we currently have. Or we could do 8 inch that returns all the way back behind the box and it makes it look like a full 8 inch exhaust front to back. It's a little more pricey when you do the full 8 inch deal, a little bit more time on the install, not a lot. Um, and there is about a 50 50 take rate. Some people really like that 8 inch Y pipe and some people, you know, prefer the, the 5 inch Y pipe. So. What about the lights up top? I think we should add two, that's my opinion. Um. So the options here are five or seven. Um, I don't know. A lot of people who are the traditional truck guys, um, you know, the traditionalists will say stay with five lights. Uh, there's several people out there that said stay with uh, or go go to the seven lights. Um, and then there's uh, then there's the matter of do you keep it what it is now, go with the standard bulb and the standard lens, or do you switch to LED and go white lens? Um, I think it's all going to kind of more or less decide when we get the feedback from you guys and you tell us what kind of lights you want on the truck itself. I think we leave the tank polished on the on the air tanks. Probably put covers over the boxes. You can put smooth box covers there for the batteries. Um, and same thing on the on the exhaust side. And again, if you guys, uh, if there's some traditionalists out there that like that diamond plate over smooth box covers, yeah, you I tell like Brian that. all about it. <laughs> I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian likes it smooth. Myself, I'm kind of a traditionalist, so. I mean, like, do you put a rear, do you put a rear window visor on it? There's so many different things you can do with truck. And then, like, what do you do? Do we paint a stripe on the side of it? Incorporate the blue, maybe like outline it with some white or something. Just the silver, or do we just leave it silver and lots of blue on the bottom side? I don't know. Just whatever you do, don't say Seminole paint job. Brian gets so frustrated. I'm not That's putting a Seminole. Seminole paint job. That's a, okay. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> That's a Kenworth paint job. It started with Kenworth. I don't want to put it on a Peterbilt. Yeah, people say Seminole a lot when they look at the old traditional style stripes. They say Seminole paint job, but that's that's kind of a Kenworth phrase. It's it's really funny. Brian gets really upset. Make sure you say Seminole about six thousand times in the no, comments. Don't do it. It's gonna be really funny. Don't do it. Here, give me the camera and you you show us the inside. All right, my fifteen seconds on camera here. Uh, we're gonna go through the interior of the truck. Just follow me on in here. Um, but man, there's a ton of plastic in here. Yeah. It's like plastic on everything. Plastic and boxes, you know, inside the boxes is going to be stuff like your airlines and, um, you know, your, uh, your seven prong connector for your trailer and so on and so forth. If you're going to look at the dash, uh, this is what they call a full gauge package. Now this is a true full gauge package. Now you can't get a true full gauge package if you get what's called the smart nav system. It's basically going to replace these four gauges here with like a GPS style screen that's all touch screen and so on and so forth. They look pretty neat. We've got some we've got some of these customs coming that's got smart nav and we've got some with full gauges. Mm -hmm. It's all on what you like and we just kinda wanna do a little bit of both. Yeah. So we got a little bit of everything. Um uh, you know, again, back to, you know, if you're a more modern type of person, you'd probably go with the navigation and the smart nav. If you're a traditionalist, you're definitely going with the extra gauges. Um but yeah, so this is how it comes in from the factory. What's really cool is uh all these plastic coverings and everything like that. Typically what we get to do is uh, we have to go in here and kind of uncover everything. I'm not real sure what the purpose of this specific masking tape is. Uh, I don't really <laughs> think it was holding that panel in. I don't so. either. And, you know, guys, we can do some pretty cool stuff to the interior of this truck, too. I mean, uh, again, when this whole thing's done, it's for sale. So we got to be uh, mindful of that. I don't want to get done with a truck and it be, you know, a price tag of $350,000 or anything. But... Um, you know, 
we did everything with a nice wood grain. This is what they call the platinum interior package. Yep, it's a platinum interior package. These are what's called your uh, A and B panels. So it's A and B, and it's a wood grain A and B. Um, whenever you do the black A and B panels, it carries over to your uh, your piece here and your piece on the doors. So being that we did the wood grain, carries over you know onto the theme. So. We could paint those though. I mean, they might like with this gray interior and the black carpet, like it would look pretty neat. I think if they were maybe the same color as the frame. What I've seen a lot of people do is they'll paint this. And then if, uh, if you have a strap job, like a Seminole strap job, whatever you can carry it over onto the dash. A lot of people will pop those gauges out, just paint all this, put the stripes on it. It actually looks pretty cool. I've seen that done. It looks you're going to really keep good. this Seminole thing up one day and like, you're going to go out of town and your truck's going to, your pickup truck's going to end up at the paint shop. And you're going to get back with a Seminole Dodge. <laughs> It'll look real nice. But, dude, this truck is super decked out. I mean, open those up. Show up the, the up top, like, all the storage oh, yeah. space here. It's got a ton of it. A ton of storage space. You got two of those, dudes. It's got the, the bigger stereo setup, which gives you a couple extra speakers. You've got the two up here with the tweeters. You've got two that are right down beside Tommy there on both sides. Um, these are the... What, what are these seats? Are these Sears? Uh, Sears seating, yeah. It's a uh, three-button Sears seating. They're ultra leather. Yep. So, uh, you know, what me and Brian are going to do next, we're going to get in here and start, you know, cleaning up some of this stuff, taking off There's the... Uh, plastic everywhere. We yeah. should probably leave it on the floor until the thing's done. But, like, all this stuff, all the plastic on these doors, you know, we'll pull all that out. Here's some more storage. It's pretty cool. Lots of little bins and places to put things. So, I mean, this truck's pretty decked out. I mean... When we all went through this truck doing the specs, we wanted to put everything we could in this thing. Look at that. Like, okay. I don't know what the point of that was. Um, all right. Well, let's get started. Let's do that. that. Let's get it all out. But as you guys see, things got fridge. I mean, it's loaded up. You get radio controls and stuff over here. Um, but I don't know. Let's get all the plastic out of here, and then we'll show you guys the interior a little bit better after we get done with that. When we get done, we're gonna take all this pile of everything that's coming out of here and show y'all how much stuff is covered up it's, inside. It's actually pretty ridiculous. And there's, there's yeah, I mean, it's good though. At least, you know, we get the truck and it's not gonna, the, you know, we don't have to like fix any messed up seats or anything, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we need to put a CB in this dude too. Somebody's got to tell us, like, y'all tell us, too, like, what CB would you put? Like, what is y'all's favorite deal? Yeah, what what is a good CB out there right now? I mean, it's been so long since I've been in it. I don't, I don't have a clue. I mean, typically, it gets, like, the typical deal, like a Cobra 29 or something. But there's a lot of other brands um, that people really appreciate. Uh, so maybe we do something different there. I probably shouldn't have pulled that now. It's all, like, stuck in here. Yeah, it's stuck in there, maybe. There. All the way down to the seat belts. These are uh, Atlas II. It has an operator's guide for the oh, yeah. three buttons that come off the seat. And it, it's always rolled up yeah. from the factory. So when you get in here, like you got to cut this little zip tie off here. But yeah, but some of you guys probably never seen this, but under here, so these are the seat works. It's got a little airbag in there. Uh, it, uh, you know, it almost looks like just like the airbag that's on the back of the sleeper. Um, but yeah, so it just kind of hinges in. Yeah, your little air ride seat makes it super comfortable. But if you look at this bag here, they're very similar, almost in size too. So I don't know, maybe if you ever had like a bag blow out on your sleeper, you could steal it out of your seat. <laughs> I mean, the passenger might hit you for it, but oh, there's some more on the door handle here. Now, as a company, we don't recommend that. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find that in the owner's manual anywhere. Yeah, just so you're aware, we want no liability in any of that. Uh, we don't condone those kinds of actions. Yeah, this thing's so cool. I can't wait to get started on it. <clears throat> I'm going to open up the back door of the sleeper, too, so you guys kind of see in there a little better. It'll give you a better view of what the inside of the sleeper is. Hey, Tommy. Hey, it's me. But yeah, I mean, plastic everywhere. 
Probably want to leave this on until after uh, the build, right? Yeah, I'd leave the plastic for the, for the, I wouldn't take that off. Let's keep the mattress all cleaned up. I'm gonna get these uh, seat belts up here out of the this way. This thing's also got factory sub, which we can even upgrade. We've done it on the, the last truck. Davis Brothers actually came down and did that. And uh, we put a, a 12 inch sub in there, I believe, and it was pretty awesome. All right. There you go. Get some cleaning to still do in here too. Good deal. But I think I got most of it in the back here. Storage for days in here. This interior is super nice. It really is. I really like the 72s. It even says platinum on the floor here. I didn't see that really. There's all the plastic that came out of the inside of the truck. And there's like a quarter of a trash can full of plastic that came off the outside of the truck. It's a lot. We'll paint the center of the hubs here on the front wheels and we'll replace this little oil cap right here uh, with a chrome one. It looks a lot nicer and then just put the lug caps over this dude and get the wheels polished real good by Peter at almost chrome. These will come out and be a lot shinier than you're going to get out of like the Durabrites. The Durabrites are nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can just get a better looking wheel after they've been professionally polished. The backside here, there's a couple options. We can, we can paint the axles. The hubs here, uh, the same color blue. Maybe just put a cap on this dude and then lug nut covers, or you can put a whole, I don't know, there's a bunch of different stuff. Row Works makes a really cool one that goes on here. We put on a few trucks too, so. I don't know, tell us what you guys think. What should we put on the wheels also? There's the truck. All right, guys. The truck. The truck's all cleaned up. It's ready to start getting some stuff done to it. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow us, go over to our brand new Instagram page, follow that. Um, it's at Semi Casual Show. At, at Semi Casual Show on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show on Instagram. Brian's personal is going to be linked there. My personal Instagram is going to be linked there. Follow us. We do a bunch of crazy, stupid stuff that is a lot of fun sometimes. Uh, also, uh, check this out. So basically what we're doing with these is whoever uh, you know leaves us the coolest comment on our Instagram or YouTube page or anybody who gives us the coolest recommendation, anything we hadn't heard before, any, any of the recent followers, basically what we're gonna do is give these away to two random people. We'll hit you up on YouTube or Instagram. Be sure, like, subscribe, follow, keep up with our builds. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming. I think we have uh, something in the neighborhood of like 12 builds currently going on. We've got so, six on the ground, uh, this one, yeah. So we have six on the ground now, which we'll be showing you guys. We've got a really cool 44. We've got a 78 inch truck that's really cool. Um, we got two 44s, I'm sorry, two 44s, a 78, yep. two 78s. And then this um, one, just completely wild, extreme flat top that we're doing for this uh, for this customer. It's, it's, the, it's the furthest extent of a custom build we've ever done in our careers. I'm just stupid excited about it and uh, it's gonna be really interesting. So. We'll be sharing that pretty soon. We've got some renderings of that truck already done up. We're gonna maybe start playing with some renderings for this truck. But again, just get on the comments, tell us, what do you wanna see us do to this rig? Because we wanna build a truck that you guys like to. Seriously, hit the like button, leave us some comments. Yep. Right? Yep. Like you really should. Yep. We wanna hear about it. Yep. Huh? Yep. What he said. <laughs>